just got here towards Mill, done the initial walk around um, towards this field. There's a kestrel box in the middle of the field that we're just staying quiet and trying to see if we can see any kestrels that might be in the area or maybe some other birds of prey that might be here too. waiting to see if it, if it was going to come out but I think it's pretty happy in the shrub so I don't think it's going to come out to see us. Um, still keeping our eyes peeled for anything that might turn up today. Um, the sun's coming out which is quite nice, it's turning into a nicer day than we thought this morning. Um, so we're just going to see what we see. We're hoping if we stay quiet and we stay still, he might come back because it looks like a pretty good fishing spot. seen some fairly upset crows and I was just trying to work out maybe if they might be upset about possibly a bird of prey that they were near but I couldn't see anything so I'm just going to stay on this little bench for a bit and just see if there's anything that's in the area. It's pretty quiet today, pretty quiet on the wildlife front too but um, I'm just going to stay patient and enjoy being outside and see what turns up. After a lovely initial walk round, we decided it would be a good time to take a half-time break with a cup of hot chocolate in the van. Just seen a 
lovely, lovely. Oh, two buzzards, two buzzards. Beautiful. Um, okay, I'm gonna, let's go through. They look like they're circling that way. Oh, trees are just in the way and they keep popping over the trees and then going back down. So I think if we go that way and a little bit higher up, we might be able to get the trees out of the way so we can get some footage of them. Unfortunately, despite my enthusiastic scurrying to a better position, we didn't manage to actually get much decent footage, but this at least proves that we did in fact see some buzzards. Sure, we just saw a sparrow hawk fly right over us. I've got absolutely no idea if I managed to capture it on camera because it was a bit too quick. Um, it's quite difficult to catch them when they're that far away when you've got so zoomed in. So, um, yeah, we'll see when we got home if I managed to get it, but just nice to see a sparrow hawk in general. So, that's good. As you can see from this footage here, the answer to did we capture the sparrow hawk on video was a resounding absolutely not. However, here are some non sparrow hawks instead. Um, I don't think I've ever seen it this flooded before. It's um, pretty impressive to be honest, but it's somewhat limiting the areas that we can go to. So um, I think we might just wander on back, go the way we came and see if anything's coming out. We're approaching golden hour now, so we're gonna lose the light pretty soon. Um, but it's just turned into a really nice day and weather-wise, it's a lot better than we thought. So um, yeah, it's been really nice to be out, but we'll probably start heading back now and. Uh, see for the last few minutes what we might see. And that was it for our lovely day out round Woods Mill. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, we'd love for you to give us a like and a subscribe. We'd also love to hear what your favourite local nature reserves are and whether you've seen anything recently. Catch you in the next one.